the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Good morning, welcome to our service this morning for the second Sunday before Advent. As usual, the liturgy and the sermon can be downloaded from our website eastvaleavon.com, so please do follow along if you would like to. In today's Gospel reading we hear Jesus tell a parable about talents. It's a metaphor for the gifts that we receive from God and how these can be used in the service of the Kingdom. In today's sermon Margaret picks up on this theme and reflects on how we can use our gifts in these challenging times today. So let us pause just for a moment before we begin our worship with the prayer of preparation. So let us pray. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. My brothers and sisters, as we prepare to celebrate the presence of Christ in word and sacrament, let us call to mind and confess our sins. So let us pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's join together in the words of the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, whose blessed Son was revealed to destroy the works of the devil and to make us the children of God and heirs of eternal life, Grant that we, having this hope, may pure, purify ourselves, even as he is pure, that when he shall appear in power and great glory, we may be made like him in his eternal and glorious kingdom, where he is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. We come now to our readings. Our first reading comes from the first letter of St Paul to the Thessalonians, chapter 5, beginning to read at verse 1. Now concerning the times and Caesars, brothers and sisters, you do not need to have anything written to you. For you yourselves know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. When they say there is peace and security, then sudden destruction will come upon them as labour pains come upon a pregnant woman, and there will be no escape. 
But you, beloved, are not in darkness, for that day to surprise you like a thief. For you are all children of light and children of the day. We are not of the night or of darkness. So then, let us not fall asleep as others do, but let us keep awake and be sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who, get, who are drunk, get drunk at night. But since we belong to the day, let us be sober and put on the breastplates of faith and love, and for a helmet, the hope of salvation. For God has destined us not for wrath, but for obtaining salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live with him. Therefore, encourage one another and build up each other, as indeed you are doing. The Lord be with you. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Then Jesus said, For it is if a man, going on a journey, summoned his slaves and entrusted his property to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one, each according to his ability. Then he went away. The one who had received the five talents went off at once and traded with them and made five more talents. In the same way, the one who had the two talents made two more talents. But the one who received the one talent went off and dug a hole in the ground and hid his master's money. After a long time, the master of those slaves came and settled accounts with them. Then the one who had received the five talents came forward, bringing five more talents, saying, Master, you handed over to me five talents. See, I have made five more talents. His master said to him, Well done, good and trustworthy slave. You have been trustworthy in a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Enter into the joy of your master. And the one with the two talents also came forward, saying, Master, you handed over to me two talents. See, I have made two more talents. His master said to him, Well done, good and trustworthy slave. You have been trustworthy in a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Enter into the joy of your master. Then the one who had received the one talent also came forward, saying, Master, I knew that you were a harsh man, reaping where you did not sow, and gathering where you did not scatter seed. So I was afraid, and I went and hid your talent in the ground. Here you have what is yours. But his master replied, You wicked and lazy slave! You knew, did you, that I reap where I did not sow, and gather where I did not scatter? Then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers, and on my return I have would have received what was my own with interest. So take the talent from him, and give it to the one with the ten talents. For to all those who have, more will be given, and they will have an abundance. But from those who have nothing, even what they have will be taken away. As for this worthless slave, throw him into the outer darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. At this point in our video, if you would like to pause and read the sermon, this can be found on our Sermon and Homilies page on the website eastvaleavon.com. When we rejoin the video, we shall join together in our prayers. So let us pray to God, the only giver of power for good. Lord God, we pray that all may confess your name, may be faithful stewards of what has been entrusted to them. As we look for the coming of Christ, we pray that the church on earth may always be ready to become one with the church of the blessed in heaven. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O Lord, where business is done in the world, 
drive out dishonesty, dishonesty and self-seeking. We pray that you will bring to all people the knowledge that this world is not the end. As we work for the present good, let our eyes be lifted to the future glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord God, we pray that you will draw into your service all in our community, that they may be used for the coming of your kingdom. Shine your love on us, our families and friends, that we may live as children of the light. In these difficult times, O oh Lord, help us to look out for friends and neighbours and those in the community around us, that your light may shine out in what we do. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O oh Lord God, we pray that you will have mercy on all those who have not fulfilled the best that is in them, hindered by sloth or circumstance or self-doubt. Lord, we pray, send your Holy Spirit and rouse them to be active in doing your will. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As we gather as your people this morning to pray for the world and the communities around us, we hold in, all, in our prayers all those who are in need at this time. We pray for the sick, for the bereaved, for all those who are struggling, for those who are seeking help in the world around them, we pray that we may be there ready to do what we can to support those in need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Oh Lord, we pray for those who have come to their last day and passed into new life. Confident that waking or sleeping, we are with Christ. We pray that we shall be always ready to hear his call. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That we may faithfully respond to the grace given to us, we offer our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. We come now to that part of the service where we share the sign of peace. Although we are not able to do so together, let us hold each other in our minds as we share the peace together now. Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and we share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God for ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God for ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Father, you have made the world and love your creation. You gave your Son, Jesus Christ, to be our Saviour. His dying and rising have set us free from sin and death. And so we gladly thank you with saints and angels praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit, the broken bread and wine outpoured, may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them, and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again he praised you, gave it to them, and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people. Gather us in your loving arms and bring us with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of our Lord and God, and all the saints to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. So let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, now and for ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are they who are called to his side. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed.
So let us pray. Gracious Lord, in this holy sacrament you give substance to our hope. Bring us at the last to that fullness of life for which we long, through Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. And we pray together. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. The Lord be with you. The peace of God which passes all understanding Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you this day and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.